Hello beautiful, my name is Anastasia Hono and today I'm going to be presenting to you a cozy Christmas vlog. I decided to create a vlog because I just love when people romanticize their lives in cute little videos that other people can watch. This was on the night of the 23rd and while my husband was away, I was making sure that I was working hard to make sure our home was clean for our guests that were coming the next day. I think it's so easy to miss things when we don't deep clean under them and you know, little crumbs can just add up and you know, you know how it goes. I feel like there's definitely a pressure to have a amazingly spick and span house for family and friends when they come over and that's definitely how i feel when people <laughs> come over there's definitely like a little bit of pressure and i get nervous because i like to procrastinate for some reason and i'm trying to get over that anywho i was really proud of myself for cleaning the kitchen the day beforehand instead of waiting till the next day because i knew i was going to be cooking as well so I am cleaning my dining room table, which yes, my dining room table is my bar area. We decided to save space and just have one place for us to sit down, which is our bar. I absolutely love having people over because I feel like it's so fun to create food and have my house all nice and clean and i feel like it's so nice to impress them with things that are yours i don't know it's just so fun for me especially because i don't really have people over very much it's usually just me and my husband in our home so whenever people come over it's a nice treat so i took a lot of time to make sure that everything was just all nice and clean i've definitely been in homes where i didn't feel as comfortable because things weren't as clean and i never would want people to feel that way when they are over at our place so i'm even cleaning up the front area making sure that everything looks pretty good even though it's kind of chaos in the front but it's all right we can't all be perfect i still have a box to go through and different things like that but that's okay i decided to check off my list my kitchen and I meant to put this footage after this one, but it is what it is. So I am mopping my kitchen now, making sure that there's nothing stuck on the ground and putting everything back to where it was. Just look how beautiful my kitchen is now. Definitely was a different story earlier. When my husband got home, we went right away to the store to pick up some last minute ingredients. I was nervous for the store to be completely full with people because it was the day before Christmas Eve, but surprisingly, it wasn't packed like how I thought it was gonna be. We were able to find everything that we needed for our family dinner, and I was really thankful for that. I love this store because it's decorated for Christmas and I just, I adore it. I'm home now and just taking out everything and making sure it goes to the right spot. I like to do it right when I get home instead of waiting and saving it for later. I'm definitely the type of person to get plantains like every time I go to the store. <laughs> and my guest wanted some tostones so I tried to find some as green as possible but they didn't really have many green bananas, but ended up working out anyways. And now it's the next day, and yes, I look crusty right now, don't mind that. I decided to go take a shower, get ready and everything. This is me putting on some makeup because I really wasn't going to have time later. It's Christmas Eve, and we have guests coming. At this point, it was about 9.30, 10 a.m., and I wanted to make sure that everything was clean i didn't really have time to clean yesterday so i'm getting ready before i start cleaning the whole house i spend the next few hours cleaning my bathroom cleaning my 
living room area and opening my blinds i love when sunlight comes through it just feels so refreshing i put away all the dishes from yesterday and cleaned up some leftover food that my husband left me as a little gift <laughs> and was cleaning the dishes and things of the sort and I cleaned the rest of my house and I'm just checking off everything that I did. I was pretty proud of myself. I was productive on Christmas Eve. Now I'm putting back my apron on so that I can start making my food. I was excited because we're making pollo guisado and I've never made it myself before. So I followed a recipe that I found on YouTube. Well, not that I found, that my mother sent me from YouTube. And I made it my own with some different things. And I can tell you it turned out absolutely delicious. I can't wait for you guys to see it in a moment. But I seasoned it really well. This wasn't even all the seasonings that I used. And I just made sure that it was very well incorporated and I covered it and put it in the fridge for a while so that it could marinate. Next, I took some carrots and things. This was in the recipe. I actually don't even like putting carrots and potatoes and stuff in my soup, but it turned out good anyways. And look at how beautiful it was. It was absolutely gorgeous. Just look. We have usually have it with some white rice, but my cousin made some arroz con candules and it turned out really good. And then I also made some homemade brownies and tostones right here, which is tostones. If you haven't tried it, definitely go and try it. And I didn't videotape that night of the 24th. So now here's the next day. It's Christmas and my husband and I found one store that was open. It was a Korean store and they had a huge selection of mochi. We were so excited to be in this store. I'm infatuated with Asian culture and I have been really into anime recently so it's really interesting to learn about different cultures like this. They had a whole bunch of different types of cultural things inside the store. <laughs> we have come to my husband's favorite aisle guys. Uh -huh. so interested with these things i see them on instagram and people make them and i've wanted to try them in the future but anywho so this is me trying all the mochi that i got mango mochi was so delicious you guys i am in love with mochi i love it so seriously i was so excited to be at the store it was so delicious i really enjoyed it when it comes to the coconut flavored one I thought it was interesting. I definitely liked the mango one better, but the coconut one was good, had a great texture. I was really sad about this one because it was supposed to be so delicious, but it ended up being popped and just melted. So I have no idea how it happened, but yeah, all of them came like that. So now I know for next time. But my husband made it up to me by making me this really good, delicious breakfast for Christmas. And we just kind of chilled the rest of the day, watched some anime, hung out together, and my husband made this beautiful lasagna. You guys, it was so good. My husband makes really good food, and it turned out delicious. And then we had some leftover arroz con candulas from my cousin. Look how gorgeous it is. And then we had some cheesy potatoes that I made with some crispy onions on top. And we just enjoyed the rest of the day together. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog and I'll see you in the next video.